Hey guys, it's Alex and today I'm going to be showing you what I got for my Black Friday haul for 2021. So to be completely honest with you, this year I was a little bit disappointed in the deals that I could find as well as a lot of stores still having their dressing rooms closed to where you could not try on clothes. I don't know if this is the case for all locations of that store, but at least where I was shopping it was that way and it's very difficult when PacSun is telling you they have buy one get one free jeans, but you can't try on the jeans. So yeah, Forever 21, PacSun, and American Eagle also had their dressing rooms closed, so I did not purchase anything from there except one item I'm going to be showing you from Forever 21. Just even with that, the deals weren't super good this year I felt like, so what I got was a lot less than what I normally end up getting. So I also included a little bit of stuff I got from Brandy that wasn't really for Black Friday, but I had a gift card that I had been needing to use. So I'm gonna show you that. First off, I'm gonna start with the Brandy stuff. And the first thing I got is what I'm currently wearing, long sleeve waffle knit white top. It's really lightweight, but like still warmer than like other stuff. So it's like good for when it's like kind of cold out, but not super chilly. The next thing I got from Brandy, I put it in a Hollister bag. These gray sweatpants, they're really comfy. These are also very lightweight. I feel like they're not super soft or fuzzy or anything, which like sometimes I do really like that, but also it's nice when you like want to wear sweatpants, but you don't want to be like burning hot. These were actually a little bit big on me. As you guys may know, Brandy only sells like one size and everything. So I have to like roll the waist on these, but other than that, like they're totally fine and I love them. The last like piece of clothing I got from Brandy is this Cowboys shirt. I don't really own that many graphic tees and I also don't own many oversized tees. So I wanted to grab this. I thought it was really cute. And also what I liked about it, it says Cowboys and there's actually a line dance dancing place that I've been to called Cowboys, so I was like, it fits. I got two pairs of earrings from Brandy. One I'm not even going to show you because it was just like such a mess. Like, I'll show you a picture of them right here. They were like really cheap, so I didn't expect much from them. Like, all the pearls just kept sliding off the thing. It was like so hard to like clasp in your ear. But the ones I did keep and like are these little blue butterfly ones. I got these blue butterfly earrings. I think they are adorable. I love the color of them as well as just like how fun they are. Let's stay on the topic of jewelry for a second. So the next place I went, I'd actually never been here before, was Altered Date. It was such a cute store. And I got a couple pieces of jewelry from there. The first one are these earrings I'm wearing right now. They're these little smiley faces. I think they're absolutely adorable. And then the other thing I got from Altered State is this necklace. It's this gold necklace, and then on it, it says faith over fear. I love this. I think it's a really good reminder. I've been loving gold jewelry a lot more recently. I'm gonna be showing you what I got from Lulu. Sadly, I did not buy this on sale. This was full price, so that's kind of sad, but at least I got a bag out of it. Lulu didn't really do a sale. They just have like a rack and it's like a bunch of random items that are on sale, but there's not like an overall sale throughout the store. I got the Free To Be Bra Wild. I feel like it should be the Free To Be Wild Bra. Maybe it is. Okay. What I really like about this sports bra is the back of it. I just love this design, like all the cross detailing. Very cute and flattering. And I know that it's expensive, but I know that I'll wear this a ton and it'll last me a long time because it is Lulu and that quality is great. So I think it was worth the investment. Let's do Victoria's Secret in pink. So I got one item from pink, one from Victoria's Secret, and they are both pajama pants. All my pajama pants have gotten way too short and I've just like needed new ones. So the first ones I got are from pink. There are these little joggers. They're just like this gray color around the waistband. It just says love pink and this little cursive. I really like the color of this. Cozy vibes. That's all I have to say. And it's soft too. Now the other pajama pants I got, I am actually obsessed with. So these are from Victoria's Secret. Cheetah print. So, so soft. These are also cinched around the ankle and they're kind of like high-waisted too, which I've never had a pair of high-waisted pajama pants. So I kind of like that. They're a little bit bigger on the waist, but it has a drawstring. So like once I tie that, like I tried it on, it was totally fine. Like I just feel so fancy like when I wear these 
and I love feeling like that. Very luxurious. Now, the last item that I got, I hinted at this in my last video and I was like, I'm saving this for my Black Friday haul. My favorite item I got, absolutely obsessed with it, but I like didn't wanna show you guys yet. Well, here it is. Forever 21, although I was very mad at them for having their dressing rooms closed, I was very pleased to find this. Oh, also, sorry, before I say this, I also have one more thing from Aeropostale, but it's being shipped to Florida State. I went in store and tried like the same size of it, but in a different color because they didn't have the size in the black color that I wanted. So I liked the size of the other one, but I didn't like that color. So I got the black one bought it online and shipped it to Florida State. And it's supposed to get here on Thursday. I totally forgot to show you guys the Hollister stuff. I'm back in Tallahassee right now. I'm in the study room. And also my puffer came in the mail. It wasn't supposed to get here till Thursday, like I said, but it's Monday and it got here. So let me show you everything. I got two things from Hollister. The first thing is these pair of black jeans. These are the high rise jean leggings. No rips or anything, just plain black jeans. And I honestly might return these. I still am kind of iffy about the sizing. I just don't know if I like how they fit as much as I like how my other jeans fit. So not really sure if I'm gonna keep these. The other item I got is this gray shirt. It says Park City, Utah. And it's so soft. And like I said before, I don't have very many like oversized tees. This one isn't like as oversized as the other one, but still just like could be cute to layer over like this, for example. But yeah, it looks cute even just like over this. I don't know. I feel like it can be worn with a lot of different outfits. And also I love Park City. I've been skiing there a few times and it is absolutely gorgeous there. So much fun. That's also why I decided to grab this because I had a personal connection to the location. And then my cover came. I was like gonna have to insert a photo, but I was like, no, now I don't have to. So the back of it has like this fur lining. There's a hood. And then this is from Aeropostale. So this is the cover. Very stylish and cute. Has a zipper, has all these clasps so you can button it or just leave it zipped like this. And what I love about this puffer is that like a lot of puffers make you look like really like big because they're just like that. But this one I feel like it kind of is more flattering and like form fitting while still being able to keep you warm. So yeah, that is what I got for Black Friday from Hollister and Aeropostale. Now back to yesterday morning and I will show you the very last item from Forever 21, which is my favorite. Back to when I was saying, like I felt like very luxurious and like bougie and like the leopard print pants, like this kind of goes along with that too. It's this fur jacket or fur coat. I don't even know what you want to call it. I'm going to put it on over this just so y'all can see it. It's not very long, but I just think it is absolutely adorable. I love how there's like a little collar on it. So soft and just like, honestly, it feels like it's very good quality, even though it wasn't that expensive. It has a little clip right here. So you can clip that. I feel like I should be walking around New York. And now that I'm in Tallahassee, it actually gets a lot colder there than it does. Well, not a lot, but like today the low is like 30 something, which is really concerning. I feel like a lot of college kids just like to wear like sweatpants and a t-shirt or sweatshirt or leggings to class, which is totally fine. Like I'm not dissing you or anything, but I personally grew up with a uniform my whole life, my whole school career leading up to college. So now that like I have the freedom to wear what I want, I'm just like we are being a stylish queen. That's um, my Black Friday haul. I know it wasn't very much, but I still wanted to show you guys what I got. If you are interested in getting any of the pieces that I got, let me know in the comments or I could try and send you the link to the piece so you can go get it for yourself, get it as a Christmas gift for someone else. Really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you get notified every time I upload a new video. Follow me on Instagram at Alex underscore underscore Boynton. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Bye.